Hello, today we're going to be covering utilizing approval chains based on question responses uh, within SRM. Uh, within an SRD, you can use SR field mappings to uh, map to SR field types um, and populate them uh, with a question response. And uh, you can qualify approval chains based on those values that are passed to the SR field types that you mapped. Uh, in the case where uh, there's an option where the SRD does not require an approval based on the question response that's passed, um, uh, you'll have to utilize um, the out-of-the-box approval chains, auto-approval chains. Um, those are installed with SRM and uh, out-of-the-box, they're inactive, so you'll have to enable those. Um, and uh, what that allows is um, you, if, if, say, you have a menu where you have a yes, no, uh, answer and you're mapping that to an SR field type. Uh, if you select yes, you want to use an approval chain uh, and you will qualify on that value equals yes. Uh, if there's a no, um, you have the SRD set to use approvals and there is nothing for that scenario. So what will occur is the SRM request record will go into waiting approval state in that scenario and there will be no approvers uh, generated as there is no chain for that, so it'll basically be in a hung state. Um, uh, to read more on uh, auto approvals uh, that are installed with SRM, uh, you can refer to the BMC docs, uh, which is uh, detailed below. So let's go into a quick demo of this. Uh, as I spoke of prior, uh, so with the SRM install, there is a auto approve process and rule that are created, uh, which are both inactive. So you will have to come into the approval server administration console, and you will have to uh, change the status to active on uh, this process here, service request dash auto approval. You have to change that to active. And then you will also have to change SR dash auto approved rule to inact or to active from inactive. Uh, for uh, testing purposes here, we have a simple SRD with a single question, and that question is, uh, will you require a cell phone? It's a simple static menu selection, uh, yes. Uh, and if you select yes, we want to uh, require management approval, so we'll use a uh, management chain here. And then uh, if, if you select no, then it requires no manager approval. So here's our sample SRD that we'll be using. Um, and if we go into the question uh, management screen, uh, here's our simple question. Will you require a new cell phone? Uh, and it's a static menu with uh, yes and no. And uh, if we select yes, we want to call a management chain. And for that management chain to be able to read the data at runtime, uh, we need to map here uh, to SR field type one. Uh, we will populate it with that yes no value from uh, that that question that we configured on the prior screen. And this will ensure that when we create a management chain and we qualify on SR field type one at runtime, there will be a value there for it to evaluate. So before we start a quick test, uh, here's the uh, management chain uh, that I've created. Uh, so we're qualifying on the SRD itself and uh, where SR field type equals yes. Uh, if they do require a cell phone, which you know it would be the answer yes, uh, we're gonna call a management chain, uh, which is out of the box, and uh, we will, uh, which will pull the manager for that person or the requester. And then uh, once it's approved, uh, the, the status will get set to planning. So let's do a quick test here. So here's the SRD. Uh, do we uh, do we require a cell phone? We will say yes here and submit it. And you'll see that it's in uh, waiting approval. And if we go to additional details, we'll see there is our approver, uh, Mary Mann, and um, it's pending approval for her. So uh, the other scenario we spoke of is if you submit and say, no, we don't need a cell phone, which does not require a manager's approval, what will happen, as you see here, is it will go into waiting approval, approval and there will be no approvers here. So this, this service request is basically in a hung state. 
And uh, what we'll do here is uh, I've already created an auto approval management chain qualifying on the same SRD. And if SR field type equals no, we will call this auto approval chain that we've enabled. Uh, once you enable it, you'll see it come up here. And then uh, what we'll do if it's approved, uh, which there will be no approver, so it'll be automatically approved, we want to change the status to planning. So let's let's turn this online and go through the same scenario. So now that's online, let's request another. So we will say, no, we don't need a cell phone, and now this should auto-approve. And see, if you look here now, uh, we're not in a hung state, and it called the auto-approval based on the answer no map to SR field type one, and uh, is initiated. I hope you found this information helpful. Uh, thank you for your time.